As Memorial Day and other summer holidays approach, water activities will become more popular. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz was able to speak to experts about how to be safe in and on the water. This is the first summer slow swim center will be open to the public without COVID-19 restrictions after two years. But before you dive into a pool, there is one thing to keep in mind that could help save your life, the color of your swimwear. And when you're in a light colored pool, you want to make sure you're wearing colors that are contrasting to the water. Um, and that's going to be, you know, brighter colors, probably avoid blues. Noah says bright colored swimsuits can be easily seen even if the person is below the surface with water agitation. In the case of this mannequin, the blue swimsuit blends in with the water while the bright pink stands out. I don't think that's something that everyone knows about. Um, and you go into a shop that sells swimwear, a lot of the times they're going to have, you know, those blue aqua colored swimsuits and they look good, but they're not exactly going to help you out if you find yourself in a situation where you're going to need help. But whether you're in a pool or a larger body of water like this lake, safety should remain a priority. And that includes preparation before heading onto the water. Make sure your boat's ready to go when you get here. Uh, you know, make sure your batteries are charged, that we don't have there's spots out here with no cell phone service. So don't rely on being able to get a hold of somebody to come help you. There's also safety equipment required to be on every boat. The first one's a fire extinguisher and always make sure that it's charged in the green of the gauge. Make sure that it's not rusted, damaged, make sure the pin's in it. On that checklist, make sure to always have a type four throwable cushion or type four device. These are like the life rings and it must have the US Coast Guard approval number stamped on it. And before you go out, especially for the first time of the year, grab it and pull all your straps. Make sure that they're solid. One of the biggest issues seen on the lake is five mile an hour speed limit is always, always abused. <laughs> and that's exactly what caused this vessel stop. Can you please turn your boat off? Marine experts say sticking to the speed limit helps maintain the safety of the swimmers on the shoreline. Don't underestimate the body of water that you're in, especially the ocean, especially a lake that's as deep as this lake is here. Officials say they expect big crowds this Memorial Day as they do every year. At Lake Nacimiento, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Marine Enforcement Unit works alongside Monterey County Rangers and will be present at Lake Nacimiento throughout the year, especially on major holidays.